All right, folks, buckle in to part three of this finale. Um, I, we have to press on, team. Uh, Zeno has gone. Sedona is gone. Ash, gone. But you're not out of the woods yet. I mean, um, all three of them just left to go get cigarettes, right? They'll be back. <laughs> they'll be back in yeah. the town. Yes, Fel. They'll be back with your favorite ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's just around the bend. It's exactly like my childhood. Just like... <laughs> <laughs> It's like waving out the airlock. <laughs> Bye. We'll I can't, right uh, can't help but feel I just triggered at least one person. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, person. <laughs> um, well, yeah, it's, well, you know, it's it's a sad moment, and we don't have the time to properly process it right now because Zolan is still up in the air in his starship, um, and he had just put down a full barrage on the surface and on your ship. But your ship has after this whole rune drive experience happened, the damaged hull of the Epic Dracer is now completely repaired and it's like a whole new version of the Epic Tracer. It like improved and like there's different guns there, like better, more heftier guns are in place of where the other guns were. All your like, you know, your bedroom and everything is still the same. You could, you would imagine. I'm just telling you, as a GM, like the the character of the ship hasn't gone anywhere. It's just improved, as if it was pulled from a better timeline. The situation as it stands is that Irio, Ziva, Mike, and Fell are in the engine room as they were getting the and Murgleburg too, uh, as they were getting the rune drive hooked up to. The epic tracer Oren had jet dashed and like just took off to the bridge to get this thing ready to go um and Oren, so you have no idea what's going on and also you have your 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 hands at the controls and you're not even sure if it's going to work i mean like there's sparks coming off all the consoles i mean there's hull damage there's wires hanging down this thing is taking a beating and you're trying to do everything you can and all of a sudden this like sense of vertigo comes over you just, and you kind of like everything goes white and purple for a second and then when you, you can get your vision back you're seeing a brand new like updated panel in front of you and that is where we're gonna start this last bit here so tell me what you're gonna do yeah, so is so the rune drive still there I'm sorry to interject uh, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, so Zach uh, what's Aaron gonna do uh, Oren is just gonna kind of be like, oh, what the fuck? And he'll get on the ship's comms, you know, kind of an intercom, and say, hey, everybody, uh, I don't know what the fuck's going on, but you may want to get to the bridge and check this out. Everybody? I mean, <laughs> we're all standing there. Completely in, dumbfounded, I'm yeah, sure, yeah. I, Ziva doesn't respond. I mean, okay. she's just kind of in shock, uh, at least for a few seconds. Like, Fells. And... Yeah, I think he gets just silence back, maybe for a, for a few seconds, Soren. Well, if he gets no response, he'll be like, "Oh, look, I'm not trying to be hasty here, but we are getting bombarded by an Aslanti starship, so post haste." Fell keys up his uh, calm, and he's. Is he- Zeno's gone. He was he was just he's just standing here in front of me. He's gone, Orin. He's he's not here. Orin keys up his mic. Fell, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about, man, but y'all need to get up here now. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Let's uh fuck. Alright. Yeah, let's go. Every, every, come on, let's And they I guess so, Fell starts heading that way. Ziva has been Like, she was mid... She was going to help Rupert, right? Yeah, right. Um, And, I mean, I assume in this time she stabilized him or whatever. Uh, I mean, she just kind of looks at Mike because... She doesn't know... She's kind of lost right now because she's scared to say anything out loud honestly 
of what his reaction is going to be. Yeah, I, I think Mike is probably in shock worse than anybody else, and is like staring at where Zeno was, and just keeps like vigorously blinking, like he thinks he can will him back into existence, and then kind of like comes to, you know, it's just like let's let's go. And he, like, grabs her by the shoulder and, like, turns her in the direction she needs to go. And he's, basically, he's, like, shutting off and can't deal with this right now, so he's gonna go do some work. <laughs> so, that, I'm gonna go go where I need to go. That's um, Ir- what Irio, he was waiting for. Irio might, um, pull on Fell's, yeah. Fell a little bit, mm-hmm. you know, and, and say, uh, hey, hey, uh, Fell, question yeah what I don't mean to be rude but I see that you're down a crew member do you need help fuck yeah we need somebody else on the guns alright and he will follow the group up to the bridge Um, and John you can take control of Erio alright okay so Erio is going to go ahead Head towards the gunnery. So you guys make your way up to the bridge, Um, and you know, keep in mind your boy, your your pilot has no idea what's happened (laughs) as you guys emerge on the bridge. Yeah, I mean, when they get on the bridge, Orin's gonna be like, "Check this out! The tracer was shot to shit, and now it's it's brand spanking new. What the fuck happened down there?" Zeno, he, I helped him. Uh, We connected the rune drive and, and. and he reached out and touched it, and then he was gone. And in that moment, everything, it's like this whole thing's new. What? Siva kind of makes her way to the, the little captain pedestal thing, whatever. And she goes, um, she just kind of looks over at Mike again. And she says, we traded Zeno for this new ship. Let's put it to work. Get to yeah. your stations. I mean, he's already heading for the gunner chair. So Orin looks around and is like, So Zeno's gone? Ugh. Where's Sedona? She may know something about this. She never came on. Focus up. Wait. St- wait, what? She didn't. She got caught in a blast, I guess. She didn't. never made it onto the ship. Ziva is staring daggers at Phil. <laughs> like. And I mean, if. If, <laughs> if Orin sees that, I mean, that's going to be like a. A sinking wave of realization that you know that just hits him all of a sudden and his whole demeanor you know just changes and she never made it onto the ship well, where, where is she take me to her I'll, 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 I'll patch her up she's gone she's gone Zeno's gone Hash is gone she's gone so, Orin just furrows his brow and says, All right, then. And he'll take his seat and just start firing it up. And just like, I mean, you can you can just tell he is um, absolutely furious and trying to get this thing in the air before everybody even can even get in their seats. He's lifting off. Okay. So the Epic Tracer, the brand new Epic Tracer, lifts off the surface of Aurelos. And as it emerges kind of from not really beneath, but kind of surrounded by the outcropping of rock on the top and it fully becomes visible in the airspace, you can see the Sardat ship. And I do actually have a handout to show you. What Look at this funky-looking piece of <laughs> shit. What the fuck is a transformer? This yeah. is the definition what? of a rubble bucket. It's It's got <laughs> such like weird little narrow yeah. segment points that it's like you could just focus those and break off a whole chunk of the ship. Yeah. This yeah. thing just looks like some awkward-ass Lego situation. I was going to say, it, it sure looks like does. it's made out of Legos. Yeah. It looks like a Lego ship. Yeah, I think it's a I made red and ship black like it's Lego ship. It's the yes. USS Bionicle. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's good. That that's pretty good. That, thank you. Yeah. All right. So, put you on the starship map. 
And you should recognize this when we've been here before when you fought the drones on the way in. Mm -hmm. And you see the Sardat ship kind of looking, you know, looking directly at you, facing right towards you. And as I said, as you come kind of out of this crater that you landed in and become fully visible, immediately your comm channel starts blinking on. Open comms. Yeah, I mean... I guess Norma, I guess Ori will do it. Zeno does that. Yeah, yeah. Normally Zeno does that. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> I'm just, just like waiting. Uh, All right, how's uh, this gonna happen? How's this gonna play out? Too soon. Somebody, somebody too answer the goddamn phone. Ori yeah, yeah, slams <laughs> the button and and opens the comm channel. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's just it's it's muscle uh, memory. I see. Yeah. No. No. That's great. Um. <laughs> so the on the little like hologram that comes up on the little video projection. You see the Sardat himself standing there with a look of, in, like, an incredulous look on his face. And he, he looks furious and beyond belief as he says, How? How is this possible? It, it, your ship, it, it was just ruined. Uh, you will thwart me no longer. Fire! And we're going to go into starship combat. All right. right. Uh oh. Um, uh, one, can, go ahead. Just yeah, just a second. Uh, once like Mike takes a seat at the guns next to Erio, he's like running everything down, checking it out, and he's like, "Old, oh, old. Oh, this is new. This is not the guns we used to have." Uh, Erio, check it. <laughs> We've got a fucking nuke. We've got a nuke. Well, yeah. it looks like it's just point and trigger, my man. <laughs> well, not, <laughs> it like gives him the side eye. <laughs> so this is not a time for your charismatic ass. I'm uh, gonna actually but, give Erio an inspiration, but only Erio can use it. So you better use it this this all session. Right. Okay. All right. Hold on. The tension, not at the card drawing, but the situation. The situation. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. Some of these inspirations that have been coming in. All right. Yeah, yeah. I drew my card. Tension. All right. What'd you get? All right, let's see here. Ah, I got a bipolar popspiration. Oh shit! All right, yeah. old Tristan. What do we get? Want to go ahead and read it off? Yeah, it's got something to read. Off. Okay, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now the tension it's, is it's real. Good. Yeah. It's good. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. In your best macho man, Randy Savage impression. Oh yeah! Snap it! Snap these boys like Snip Slim Jim because you are thick, Rick. <laughs> wow! Oh my God! Thanks, Tristan. Tension lost from that. <laughs> oh man! Oh yeah. over there, like a little bit too much into his charismatic vocal <laughs> programming, and he kind of snaps out over there. All right, thanks, uh, uh, oh thanks, Bipolar. Appreciate that. Um, yeah. So, as Mike was saying to Erio, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so I said we've got a nuke, which that's a big surprise. We said, oh, we also got two gyro lasers, right? So they're on the right and the left, but they can fire from adjacent arcs. So. Either one can fire from three quarters of, of the whole ship. Um, and then we've got the light plasma cannon in a turret. These are all upgrades, but we've got a lot of flexibility as far as where we can fire from. So, Sounds real cool. Sounds like we have the advantage to break this tub. Yeah, just, just work with me, all right? All right, and engineering Finally. phase. Here we go. What, what are you going to do um, with an engineering phase, Fell? Uh, Fell is going to divert to uh, thrusters. Divert to thrusters, giving yeah. you a little speed boost. Hash is not going to do anything to help you because he lying there with a hole in his stomach. Yeah, and that's a 17 on the die, so it's successful. That is a success. Okay, so now you have an extra two hexes of movement. Is that correct? Uh, yes. All right. Uh, let's move to the helm phase. All right, so for helm phase initiative... Roll it up. Holy shit. We'll take that 36. Is that a natural 20 on the, that on the roll? That was a natural 20 on the, on the roll 20 initiative. Holy crap. Let's take it. So that actually then allows you to go second. So the name of this ship, uh, I'm sure you would like to know, 
is just for funsies it's called the star runner uh, so the star runner is going to I guess move just up like two hexes yeah that sounds about right basic bitch name basic bitch moves <laughs> yeah <laughs> Why don't you go home, Star Runner? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sensing a little tension, Star folks. Star Runner, so lame name. You don't like the the Sardat? <laughs> well, what would give you that idea, Adam? I, I I'm mean, so confused. He I only you killed our fucking both. friends, you know. Literally. And but, I mean, besides the whole space Nazi big bad end game thing, uh, yeah, yeah, I think we have good enough reason. Fine, this is the first Aslanti ship that's not green. Then, in that case, they've moved. Now you can move. Uh, okay, so <clears throat> Oren will basically be sort of heading towards there. However, he will be uh, flying evasively. So I'm going to do a, an, an evade maneuver okay. uh, on my way up there. So it's DC-10 plus one and a half times the starship tier, which will make it a 19. I mean, gosh, I just you don't, I just got to roll like higher than a fucking three. And I rolled a five on the <laughs> die. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, that'll that, get it. Uh, that 21 will absolutely get it. All right. Uh, okay, so uh, let's see. How many squares can I move now? I'm also going to be getting a bonus to AC and T all this time. 10 turn. squares. Well, I don't know. Does it reduce your movement? Does no, evade, re- evade okay. does not reduce So you can move ten, is- 10 hexes because of the diverted power to your thrusters. All right, so Oren will move forward and kind of slingshot around uh, this small asteroid and put him, like, real close to the Sardat's starboard side. Okay. Am I saying that right, Josh? Starboard? Yeah. Yep. All right, so, yeah, yeah, we just... He just, you know, leans in on the throttle, and then right at the last second as he comes around that asteroid whips it around to um, get a nice broadside hit on on the Sardat's vessel. Sweet. Mike, give him the juice. <laughs> oh, shit. <clears throat> Captain, are we skipping you? Or are you? Excuse me, are you good? No, as soon as it gets to the gunnery phase, uh, Ziva is going to beep, 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 uh, because he knows not there to do it for her. She's going to pull up comms herself. Uh. And uh, the comms are, I will say, like, he's leaving the comms wide open. And he has, he's like, kind of screaming and taunting. He wants you to hear all of his threats and attacks and everything, you know? Okay. Well, speaking of threats and attacks, Ziva is going to attempt a, a taunt. Um, okay. Uh, so. Okay, it's 22, which is not going to be the DC, so um, she goes to, it's not going to fucking work. Um, she goes to say something, and it just kind of hits her, and she's like, <laughs> <laughs> and just kind of like tries to pull it together, like not let her emotions get the better of her, but it's just not working, so she just fucks up. Well, I mean, if, if Ziva's choking on that, yeah. Oren's yeah. just going to say, and I'm not attempting a taunt, but Oren is going to be like, you as Lenty, son of a bitch, I'll hunt you to the ends of the galaxy if I have to. Well, we're right here. We're right here. Um, okay, so let's get those. So you failed the taunt, yes? Correct. Okay. Uh, so we are in the gunnery phase. Let's go ahead and get the epic tracers rolls. All right, yeah. So um, he turns to Ario. He's like, "All right, you t- you take the gyro lasers. I got everything else." And uh, we're yeah, we're both gonna roll uh, fire at wills. All right, let's start with Mike's. Um, okay, they're both. It's a it's a full action basically. You get a minus four penalty. Yep. Okay, so um, uh, that'll be a twenty two for the first one. And that's against the their AC, not their target lock, right? Because what are you firing? Well, I'm firing the tactical nuke. So and, is uh, that target lock or is that AC? It's target lock. 
target lock. It's a tracking weapon, okay? Uh, so, and what did you roll? A 22. Did you add your computers to it? No. So, right. is that a plus 2 or plus, plus one? 2? Okay, so 24 total. 24 total against the target lock is a hit. I fucking nuked his ass. <laughs> you nuked, you nuked, motherfucker, you nuked bro. him. Oh Holy my god. Crap. Nice. Okay. And then the light plasma cannon as well. Uh, I rolled a two on the die, so I don't think that's going to hit with a a nine. Yeah. And you're including total. the minus four on that on that first one, right? Yes. Well, it'd be it'd be an eleven total. All right. Roll uh, roll damage on the nuke. While you're doing that, Irio, let's get your shots with the... So, let me get two pilot rolls uh, with a minus four on each. All right. Okay, first one is a 14 after the uh, piloting skill. Okay, and the second and one? And then the second one is an, a 28. All right, that second one but will minus hit. minus four, so... Or yeah, plus like 24. Two. Yeah. yeah, so that will hit. Yeah, all right. That's 1d8 damage for you. What was the, the damage the on the nuke? The nuke substantially more damage. Yeah. Yeah. I did 17 damage with the nuke because my last two die were a one and a two. Oof. All right. And what about with the gyro? I got a five. Um, all right. Let me roll some gunnery checks. Looks like you're going to get a gyro laser and a light plasma cannon coming at you. All right, so the gyro laser is a 26 to hit. All right, and then here comes the light plasma cannon. All right, so, ooh, that might miss. That's a 22. Does that hit? Uh, no, 23 and 24. Okay, yeah, so they both... Invasive. Yeah, so they both miss as as Orin, just the... His fury and the, the light of Ebra might be guiding him, it seems like, as he just, as these explosions are happening outside the vessel, just missing. And then you get a nuke lands and takes a huge chunk, gets through the shields. And so that's going to be, you guys did a total of 22 points of damage. Fucking A. Yeah, and I mean, when that nuke hits, Mike is just like, that's right, take that motherfucker and expect another serving. <laughs> or to follow that up with you as Wanty Coward running as soon as the heat turns up. He says, yes, well, you're cheating somehow, and I don't know how. I don't understand how you can have this new vessel. I just saw it. It was a wreck. But the Aslanti will always be superior. I don't think you have the guts to put your money where your mouth is. Watch us. <laughs> and it is now round two. Engineering it's like, phase. It's like, what a petulant brat. Like, yeah. <laughs> you're cheating. It's not fair. <laughs> it's not fair. Uh, okay, so engineering, what's up? Uh, man, I I guess just divert to uh, to shields again. Or not, sorry, not shields, to uh, the thrusters again. Try and get that good positioning. Okay. Uh, let's see. That is a... 2 plus 17, so that's 19. Okay. That'll barely do it. <laughs> That'll just get it. That'll just get it. Okay. I have to roll um, one to fail that. <laughs> okay. It is now the helm phase. And All right. let's roll so those some piloting. Initiative. Yeah. Ooh, that's a 15 on the die. So that's going to make it a 31. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see. It looks like the Epic Tracer has won the helm phase again with a 36 to a 20. So the Vanguard regent named Star Runner is going to... Gosh, what is it going to do? It's going to... Self-destruct. Yeah, it gives up. It's the only way. Yeah. <laughs> um, it will try to make a little circle around and rotates in that last one. All right, so that's where it moves. So it's now below the Epic Tracer with its forward arc pointing directly at you. I think we got to flip and burn, my dudes, and, and do that. What you think? Let's peel the paint. I think <laughs> flip and burn is the, uh, is the one. So that is going to be uh, the DC 15 plus one and a half times the Starship's tier, 
which makes it a 24 that I have to hit. Uh, all right. And that's going to be a 26. All right, so that Ten gets on the it. die. Okay, so, um, all right, let's see. I think, I mean, I think we'll just flip it, like, like almost right in place, right? Like, we don't need to be too far, you know what I mean? Orin sees, sees the Sardat ship, you know, fly by them, and he just cuts it and just flips it around uh, right there on it, putting our forward out. <clears throat> and and, and right. he'll say on the open comm channel, you can't run from me, motherfucker. Uh, he says, oh, I'm here for it. And let's move to the gunnery phase. All right. Captain is um, going to try something else this time. Um, okay, so she is going to, with a 27, succeed on a demand. Okay. She looks over at uh, Mike and uh, she's kind of Mikhail. They are the reason that they're gone. Take them down. And that is going to give you a plus four. Plus four. Nice. That's a plus four. Plus you have computers up for grabs in the gunnery. So let's get those rolls, uh, Mike and Erio. Is that just a plus four on one attack? On your first attack. That's or, correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, yeah, so I turned to Erie and I'm like, let's focus down his forward arc. Same guns. Like, same lineup as last time. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Sounds good to me. Okay. Oh, oh! So, the plus four from Ziva for my first attack, I'm taking that. Okay. And it's on, it's on the nuke. So that negates the minus four from Correct. firing firing at will, mm-hmm. and I rolled a natural twenty. Oh my! Oh yeah! Nuke his ass, boy! So that will be a thirty-three to hit. Yeah, well, I mean, you crit, so yeah. like, um, and this is on the forward arc too, right? Holy yes. Shit. Okay, you uh, so you get to roll damage twice. So what's the what's the normal nuke damage? We haven't set it five, on air. Five d eight. It's a lot. D8. A it lot. is a nuclear oh, weapon. Oh, crap, that's just dude. Oh my nasty. god, that's so That is sexy. 10 D8 coming at the Sardat right now. Right down his throat. Oh my gosh, dude. He's gonna take it. Like that yeah, you don't have a choice. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> so it's 25 damage on my first set of 5 D8. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna glitch this motherfucker. And 21 on the second. And so, 21 on the second, so that's 46 total points of damage from the nuke. However, all yeah. the damage gets dealt at the same time, so it's... Right, right, right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so, and then roll for your plasma attack. That will be a minus four, but you can use another computers if you want, which would leave one for Erio. Okay. I'll let, I, I'll let Erio have both of them. Okay, so let's get the all right, roll. All right. <laughs> Nat 20. Yeah, oh my god. Yes. Oh, Nat 20. <laughs> What'd you and get on your plasma? blow this out of the vast, my What'd man. you get on your plasma? Uh, I rolled in. I have, uh, the total is 18. That's a miss. Okay. All right. Uh, gyro got a crit hit, so that's going to be 2d8 from Erio. Okay. Got eight on the first roll. Ooh. Got a five on the second roll. Very nice. Wow. Okay. So that is a... 13 total. 13, yeah. All right, and then roll you for your attack on the second one. All righty. The minus four, well, pl- minus two with the computers. Okay, wish me luck. Hot dice. Nope, three. So that's going to be a 13. 13 will miss, but will you're looking miss. at a total of 59 points of damage on the forward arc this that's round gonna alone. That's going to be some critical... Ooh. critical. Yeah, we'll I see. I think they felt it, Mike. All right, and so then the... Now it's their gunnery, and they are going to fire their big weapon as some linked coil guns come your way. I like that mouth foley, Adam. That was that thanks, sharp mouth foley, dude. Yeah. All right. So looking at, oh, a 13 is going to miss. Going to miss. 
from we're gonna do a fire at will from the plasma cannon on their turret from their second gunner. Yes, they have two guns. Alright. It's actually gonna be a 17, so that's gonna miss. <laughs> so we just fucking Well, like here's this hold on, here's the second one. Because they're they're firing two shots with their fire. Okay. Alright, that's also a miss. Okay. Let's so talk they, about what kind of critical thresholds we hit. All right, so we did a total of 59 damage to the forward arc. Holy crap, dude. Dude, you fucked him up with that nerd, bro. You, I mean, y'all. <laughs> yeah, I'm about pretty pumped about that. Yeah, 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 yeah so buddy. that nuke just... I mean, like, lines up, like, right down the grill... And you can see his face kind of light up a little bit as as, uh, as it does. And then, like it kind of the the, ho- the hollow vid kind of shorts out for a second when it makes contact. Uh, the shields did stop some of it, but you were able to get three critical effect hits. Ooh, One for yeah. rolling. The, no, it's yeah. gonna be it's gonna be four actually because you rolled two criticals and got through two <laughs> critical <laughs> thresholds there. Oh, <laughs> lay it on, uh, lay it on us. Oh, uh, God. God. So the first one in the power core. Hell yeah. Okay. Gonna right. Start shutting okay. stuff off. Yeah. S- second one in the life support. Oh, yes. All right. Third one to the engines. Ah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> and the aft arc of the weapons. There are ah. aft weapons. Uh, <laughs> there are not, so... <laughs> So no Still, good there. We you, you ju- it. Yeah, you just wrecked it out. And as the comms come back into uh, into focus, he kind of he says, "All right, well, I don't want to destroy the rune drive, so perhaps I can offer you another plan, and we can put an end to this playing with toys like boys and settle it like men." What do you say, human? <laughs> yeah, what do you got in mind, asshole? Well, I'm Alishunta, and I'm the captain, but okay, whatever. There is, there is only one of you aboard that ship that is worthy of fighting me in a duel. You defeat me in a duel, you can kill me, and you can leave with your rune drive and your cheater's ship. If I win, you die. And I take the rune drive. And it will be just me and you, Auron Vance. So, Auron, you know, pauses for a second. And he looks, you know, back at his crew. And, you know, presses the comms channel and just says, Deal. <laughs> what? What? Well, uh, what? Hold on, what? <laughs> Hold up. So. Hold up. Hey. If you want to stop me, you better say <laughs> something because, I mean. I can't he believe is, we're doing this. He is pissed. Okay, wait, man. Wait. Z- 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 like mute comms okay. real quick. Like, what the fuck are you talking about, Orem? We just take him out here. We just shoot him out of the sky. It's not good enough, Captain. We already won. Don't let him go to you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 No, I want blood, and I'm gonna get blood for Sedona and Zeno and Hash. They deserve it. But we can do that from the ship. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the man, the man wants to. Si- he wants to do it himself. He wants to see it. Zeno's just kind of looking around at everybody. And you trust him. You trust him to keep his word. <sighs> of course I don't, Captain. He's an Aslanti scumbag. But it's the only chance I got to strangle him to death. I mean, Ziva, I, I'm for it. Like, that's... What better way to kill this fucker? Blowing him up in a ship? Like, come on. Orin, I got you, man. Like, 
Listen, I don't, I don't think there's anything I can do to help, but, but I got your back on this. All right, all right. Before we get too ahead of ourselves here, guys, like, let me just lay it out for you, Zach. You, you fight this guy. It's a fight to the death. Like, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, I know that, dude. But, like, <laughs> man, oh. I mean, but, like, what would Oren do? Mm. WWAD, okay? <laughs> My boy is so furious with this guy. I mean, he killed Sedona, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is, like, I think it's important to him to ensure that he gets revenge, you know, his way. Um, I think, okay, I, I, okay, I'm with you. I just wanted you to, to know, as a player, that you're putting your character on the line here. Um, because, I mean, I'm not going to pull any punches. This is beautiful. What I will do is I'll give you an inspiration if you, if you choose well, to do this. All right? Yeah, no, I've, I've made my mind up, man. This is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Dude. So I will gladly okay. accept that inspiration because I probably need all the help I can but get. But before you do that, I think you've got the support, it looks like, of most of your crew. Most. But, but, but Ziva, I, I, I feel you, and I think, Oren, you... You owe kind of a one-on-one moment with her to try to convince her or to let her to sell her on it a little bit, you know. Well, I don't even know what the what the terms of the is this pistols at dawn, ten paces. What's the, I mean, you know, like what Look, is the? Yeah, I mean, you, you I, can call the comms back up and iron that out if you'd like, you know. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Before he's going to talk to Ziva about it, I think he would he would be like, "All right, Sardet, what are your terms?" How confident are you with that little toy that you call a solar moat? Confident enough to slice your ass in half. Uh, well, I was going to suggest a traditional duel. I was hoping that you were more couth than that, but... I'll take what I can get. Let's settle this the old-fashioned way. Like men. Your moat versus mine. And we'll do it in a neutral ground. How about the surface of one of these floating asteroids? That way, my team can't help me and your companions. Family. Sure. Whatever. Can't help you. Bring the rune drive and meet me on the surface of that meteor over there. I'll be waiting. So Orin meets the comms and he, you know, will get up from his seat, turn around and look. I, I imagine Ziva has a look of disapproval on her face or something of the sort. There is a wash of emotions. It's rage and confusion and contempt and fear for you. And she just kind of looks at you and she's like, Oh, and I know that you are capable of doing this. I know that you want to do this. I know that it's honestly what Sidona would have all. We've already lost so many of our crew. I don't want to lose you too. I'm not going anywhere, Captain. I'm gonna kill this motherfucker, and I'm gonna avenge our friends. I'm gonna get the fuck off of this rock. And she just kind of glances around at everybody, and I assume everybody else's faces are pretty set there. Um. I don't know. I'm like kind of torn because like I think Mike gets it but thinks it's stupid like un- I understand the motivations and everything but Mike would still just be like mate are you 100% sure you want to do this I mean I got my finger on a fucking nuke button right here yeah Mike but that's not good enough man 
He deserves to die slowly and painfully for what he did. Zeevil stepped down off of the platform area and walked to Oren. And she just kind of reach up and touch his face. And, like, you can tell that she's kind of shaking. Like, I mean, she's, she's scared for you. I will say, as you touch his face, Oren's moat starts to swirl around you, but be the both of you. And, like, kind of swirls around your heads, both of your heads a little bit, kind of, like, illuminating you guys. And you guys come together in this telepathic communication. Now, you guys both have had have telepathic abilities, but, like, you get this surge of where you're almost, like, I don't know. Fucking mind melded? To, to, yeah, to some degree. Like, you're in a mind space. Mm-hmm. And it's just the mm-hmm. two of you in this, like, in your mind's eye sharing this space together and you see the moat swirling around you in this space too but it's much brighter and looks much more like a star and it seems to surge into both of you and then you guys kind of like come back into reality a little bit Ebras with you, as always. Don't kill him, or destroy him. That is an order. Aye, aye, Captain. And so, like, Orin, Orin will break, you know, f- you know, kind of from their, their moment there, and then He'll look to Fell and say, We still got that asshole rat boy's armor? Yeah, it's uh, it's sitting there in the... wherever it is. But it's here. Get it off of him. I'm gonna come dressed for the occasion. Dude, this is so I like dope. it. <laughs> this is fucking so dope, man. Dope, man. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, like, this is why we play this Seriously, fucking this game, is right? Like, this is... This, this is... <laughs> All right, yeah, go ahead and take your inspiration, Zach, because this is <laughs> yeah, fucking oh awesome, dude. Like, I thought... Okay, awesome. okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, so I got a good old scratch paration. Oh, how wonderful. Our old buddy, old scratch yeah, Johnson from Roswell, Georgia. Brian, what's going on, buddy? Maybe you can help me defeat this Sardat. He says, today's top story. Inspiration is a leading factor in preventing character death. <laughs> it has also been linked to extreme frustration in GMs. Wow. So please consider the plight of your friendly neighborhood GM before using an inspiration. Oh my goodness. How apropos. Old yeah, scratch. Very. Yeah, this my is man. Good. Okay. My man. So, I mean, yeah, like, like Phil, you know, I, I guess would, you know. Yeah. He, he brings the armor to you. Uh, can we have a montage of Oren suiting up in this yeah, do it. armor? Yeah, th- do it. Yeah, <laughs> a third, hold you on, know, in like yeah, I mean, a twenty-four like second montage, because like. <laughs> All right. I mean, this this armor is kind of fancy. There's there's kind of a lot going on with it. Um, it's got it's got an Aeon stone in it, a purple Aeon stone that's going uh to act as a purple force field, which is pretty nice. Okay. Well, this is AG uh, Spec Ops armor. And it's got a little DR to it as well, so that's nice. Um, and I would certainly think that Orin looks pretty, pretty intimidating in it. And, and he, he looks like a Vandrian, you know. Um, but Orin will uh, take off his bandolier that that has the holster, you know, with Evelyn the rifle in it. He'll take all that off and he'll put his cloak back on over the armor. Mm-hmm. And well, yeah, um, Jedi, huh? I said, well, yeah, Jedi. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, no. I mean, I got. Yeah. I can't believe the uh, Jedi battle is happening. Yeah, this is incredible. <laughs> but right. look, but but he'll he, he wants to t- you know turn to Ziva and he will hand her the, the bandolier and Evelyn in its holster and say, Captain. Oh my God! If something happens to me, I want you to take care of this. Oh my goodness. 
Um, and I mean, Ziva takes it, and you know, she's she's facing you, kind of turned away from everybody, and you can you can see tears in her eyes, and she's 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 terrified for you. Um, Man, she, I'm terrified for Ord. <laughs> Damn, dude. Um, this is she, intense. She slips the bandolier on. She goes, I'll keep it warm for you. Yeah. And just kind of yeah. nods. Like, it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be fine. This is going to be fine. And and one one last, and I'm going to try this, and we'll see if Adam takes the bait. Um, and one more time, she's going to reach up both hands and grab his face and say, Go get him. Okay, well, Zach Oren has decided to do this. He's got gotten suited up, and I would imagine that his crew would walk him kind of down to the bay and to the ramp as the epic tracer kind of... And they're kind of set up in a line, as I imagine Oren's going to have something to say to each of them. Uh, I mean, I assume. I could yeah. be wrong, oh, but no, I, I feel like sure. that's where we're for at. For sure, here. for sure. Yeah, all right, um... So we'll say that we'll have Mike at the end because I feel like he's stewing on something over there and trying to like figure out what he's going to say to his his buddy here. I think we'll have Fell at the top because they've known each other the longest. And so, yeah. so Oren suited up in Evandrian's armor comes up to Fell. And how does that go? Uh, Oren will just kind of like grab fell you know on the on the arm on the bicep and and just kind of look right at him and says you know i can do this right buddy absolutely i have zero doubt you got this man and fell reaches into his uh pocket uh to pull something out that he grabbed when he got the armor and i had hash working on this for me uh in case i don't know if we needed it but and just sticks a decal on your chest like right over your heart of the APA logo. Just sticks it on, peels the backing off. So you got APA branded as Lanty Armor. <laughs> it looks good on there, man. Listen, in the off chance something does happen, take care of everyone. They'll need you. The Tracer needs you. Yeah, well, I mean, shit, man, we, we need you too. So you get out there, kick his ass, and come back to us. I'll see you in a few. And he uh, reaches out to shake his hand and pulls him in for a hug with it. Yeah, man. I mean, they they, they bro hug it out. Pats him on the back real hard, you know. Yeah, and as he's, uh, I guess, moving to the next person, he puts his hand on his shoulder and just kind of nods at him with a with that same wry old smile that he used to do when he was irritating him back in the hangar. Or, or and kind of like grins a little bit, you know what I mean, and chuckles. Uh, I think the captain might be standing next to Fell. So Ziva's already kind of like giving her big spiel. Um, and she's got the bandolier on. She's holding uh, Evelyn. And um, she just kind of gives him the up down. And she says, I don't know what looks good on you. Hmm. Um, Can I have to do something about this paint job, though? Yeah. Says Lonty Green's pretty gross. It clashes with your eyes. It's not so good. It's all right. We'll take care of it when you get back. Okay? Sounds good. And I think maybe st- sitting or standing next to the captain is Irio and Mergelberg kind of looking awkward. Like, what are we really doing in this lineup here? But <laughs> maybe Irio not so much. She looks overly no, confident. No, no, no. I, I got something to say. Okay. <laughs> oh, does he? <laughs> Okay, so he I just kind of know you, man. <laughs> so he's just gonna uh, look at Aaron. Someone's got to say it. You need to cool your jets, Aaron. Like, let Mike just push the launch button. Zeno, Sedona, and Hash knew the costs. I feel they wouldn't want you to risk your life like this. Decisions made, Sandy Drone. <sighs> but Aaron. You can't put puzzles together if you're dead. Who's gonna fly us home? And Oren will look to Mike, who's standing in line next. Mm-hmm. And say, Big guy, if I don't come back, I need you to fly the tracer to get everybody out of here. 
I know you can do it. Uh, with with pleasure. But before we worry about that, listen up, cowboy. I know everyone's trying to put on a brave face for you. I'm not one who blows smoke, right? This ain't no pushover. Much as I love a good fight, I put everything I could into busting through this motherfucker's armor and sunder it, and I couldn't do it. That armor's no joke. It's real, it's legit, and this fight is not gonna be easy. You've got, you've got a chore ahead of you, and you might not come out alive. I like that APA pin on you, gotta say that. And look, I'm not in a point where I can deal with the trauma that we've been through yet. But I didn't get to say goodbye to Zeno. And I didn't get to say goodbye to Sedona. And you didn't get to say goodbye to Sedona. So if you don't come out of this, goodbye, my friend. And he gives him the Spartan handshake. Oh, yeah. R- yeah real yeah, hard. Yeah. And, then, yeah, and, then, and, and then pulls it into a hug. All right. Wow. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. Okay. And with that, Orin will start to take, you know, kind of imagine that the, the loading ramp is, is descended out yeah. and we're on the surface of Arellos. And he'll start to take a step back. And he, just, and he just looks back over his shoulder at everyone and gives them just one stern nod, you know. And turns yeah. around and marches out. So you march out, bring the helmet over here. Well, I guess and he you, activates his force. He activates the the, the yeah. Aeon Stone force field. Yeah, right, so like this purple, this purple glow kind of emanates around you, and you kind of pull your moat into your hand as you look, and you can see like standing across this like little circle that the Sardot has chosen. It's kind of some flat ground on this asteroid. And he's standing there and like, he just has this look on his face and he sees you in Evandrian's armor and like, I mean, just utter like fury melts on his face. But before you can even like respond, you get, you hear in this space around you again, that, that song that's, that you heard when you first rent landed on Arellos. And you first got your moat. And it seems as is the sword in your hand begins to pulse in time with the music. And you feel yourself surging with energy, fury, something inside. And all, you don't know what it is. But like Ibra, you never know what it is. All you know is that her presence is within you. As you approach... Fucking Zola and Mila Vestra for a one-on-one goddamn Jedi fight. <laughs> and here's what I'm going to do, listeners, table, everybody. I am rolling all of Zolan's rolls on the table. This is going. This is which set of dice? I'm rolling using, using roll twenty, oh, so okay. you will be able to see every roll that oh, comes okay. out. Gotcha. So there is no, you know, coax in this fight. This is real. Let's right. roll for motherfucking. Can I roll initiative. real dice? Because I don't yes. like roll twenty. Okay. Yes. Yes. Roll twenty fucks me hard, dude. Yeah. No. No. You. You. Thank you, you for the absolutely... sponsorship. Roll twenty. <laughs> Thank you for the sponsorship. Roll twenty. <laughs> <laughs> and let's roll initiative. All right. Dude, this is so crazy. This is this is nuts. I I. I I'm starting to... Zach, you're a madman. I am a, I am a madman. Yes. I, I, I'm going to lose my motherfucking character to this. Oh, my and this God. this is not going to be cool. It's not going to be cool at all. Well, hey, I had, I had an uh, intro about this, like, let's see what my 50 episodes matter. back. Just just roll well, man. Yeah. Okay, so what did you roll for initiative? Sorry, my actual roll for initiative is a 19 on the die. Okay. Plus my 4, which is a 23. Okay. Well, Zolan started this fight off with a natural one. <laughs> I hope that sets the tone. Uh, is he? Is he a little? Is, would you say maybe he's a little shaken at seeing uh, no, Orin in Evandrian's armor? 
Uh, no. So he's pissed. And so as you walk up to him, right, with the sword in hand and you get within communicating distance, he says, How dare you wear Aslanti armor? The insolence is unforgivable. You like it, Sardat? I borrowed it from your rat boy fuck servant. I didn't think he'd need it anymore. I imagine you've slain him then? Mike smashed his skull in with his bare hands. No matter. I believe he was going to turn me into the Aeon throne himself. You do not deserve to wear that armor. And you never will. It was like... And like, you see his like, solarium moat his green sword come into his hand and he just kind of swells up with solarian energy and you get to go fucking first here we go well i mean the first thing that orton would do is activate his starlight form and just surge he he feels that energy of ibra he knows that ibra is with him and he so you know you can't do it alone so you turn on your starlight form as you've done a few times now already and as you do the music seems to surge with you (laughs) and your starlight and the guy the rest of you watching from the bridge see this just huge radiant ball of energy explode on the surface of this asteroid as he is now casting blinding radiance all you can see is his silhouette in like yellow purple light just emanating off of him as if he might be a star in fucking self. I'm so pumped. I keep that saying is, fucking. I'm sorry, but so I'm good. so pumped. <laughs> that is so cool. I think it's a- appropriate. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So that is a move action or a standard action? That's a standard action, my man. All right. So are you going to do any move action? Um. Oren will just reach out. He, I mean, he's got his he's got his sword weapon in one hand, and with his other hand, he just reaches out and gives the good old kung fu like, "Come get me," okay. you know what I mean? And uh, will stand ready, stand you know, uh, in, in his in his guard stance, <sighs> waiting for the Sardot to make the first move. All right, the Sardot. Will take a step up, and then you see him go into his stance too, where he's fighting defensively, and will make his first swing. So Orin's got a little extra AC due to this armor. Oh, um, I wanted to say too that, like, the, there was like two little devices at either side of the circle, and as you stepped over the threshold of one he like snapped his fingers before this fight started before you went radiant and this big purple force field went up around you like this big dome of energy Mm. to keep anybody from coming in and interfering cage match yeah cage match okay Uh, alright so here we go Mm, obligatory thunderdome reference so that will be an 18 to hit your KAC 18 will miss Orin's KAC. Misses. Round so he deflects two. with his blade. Now, hold on. Any opponent that ends their turn um, within uh, adjacent to my starlight form must succeed at a fortitude save or be blinded for one round. Uh, okay, so I have to succeed at a fortitude save then. You have to roll a fortitude save, DC 18. All right. 20. Oh, okay. Nice. All right, all right. So, so Warren deflects the blow and... Um, is the mischance still active, though? The regular mischance? The mi- regular mischance is still active. Okay. Yes, with starlight form. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Warren, you're up. Warren's turn. I'm just... I'm just gonna swing just one attack. I don't. I don't want to get too ballsy here. And okay, so and focused fuck attack up. with your solar blade. Mm-hmm. All right. Ooh, that's an 18 on the die, boy. Uh, plus seven, 
Uh, will be a 25 that against is, KAC. That is a hit. Yes. All right. So I am going to deal uh, 2D6 plus 8 damage. Yeah, just roll it, man. I'm too nervous for all dude, this. I mean, uh, <laughs> hang on, it. man. I, I'm talking I'm talking myself through okay. this too, dude. Okay, okay. All right. Uh, okay, so that's 5 plus 8. Um... 13, 13 damage. 13. I know he's got some DR. So. Uh, yeah, you don't know shit. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Round. Uh, it's his turn. He mm-hmm. is going to full attack. And he's now two stages into his photon mode of his Solarian energy. He okay. has something called flashing strikes, which allows him to roll full attacks at minus three instead of minus four. Okay. So he's going to full attack with his blade. Um, so add, so I got 22 on the first one to hit KAC. To KAC, my friend meets beats. All right. Well, I'll roll. Let me also, so 20. You got to roll miss chances, right. 20% miss chances. So 24 is going to hit two. So I got to roll two miss chances here, right? Mm-hmm. All right, first one. That's a, a get through the mischance. That's get through it. With a 53. And then the second one is a 74. So they both Ooh. go through for a total Ooh. of... Both of those get through. 43 now, he, damage. All right, but here's the deal. The force field is going to stop five... And then the DR on Arn's armor is going to stop five from each attack. Nice. All right, so that's going to be 15 total reduction. So 43 minus 15, you're looking at 28 points of damage. As he just comes at you with his lightsaber, just... (laughs) And gets a couple slashes on you. But your new armor seems to be doing some work for you. All right. It is round three. No, you have to roll. Oh, right, right, right. You have to roll Roll because you're into adjacent. So you've got to roll fortitude save. Okay. 25. That's, that's That passes. Okay, so at the top of the round, you feel Ibra's energy surge with you as the song around you kind of, you feel this harmony note kind of come from the Song of Cosmos over the top of it. And for a brief second, you're flashed into that space that you were just in with Ziva. And you can feel her energy just wash over you. Get him is applied indefinitely through this fight. <laughs> oh, nice. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. All Thank right. You, Adam. So. All right. <laughs> um, so at the 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 force field regenerates two damage at the end of my turn. Correct. Okay. All right. Um in that case, I think I'm going to full attack, and I'm going to use an inspiration. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and, lest I forget, let me go ahead and pop this Veriduxpiration real quick that okay. I've been hanging on to. All right. All right, Veridux, you are coming out in a crucial moment here. So that's going to be a plus four on your first attack, so negating the minus four. And then the next one will be a minus three. Cause okay. Yeah. So first attack, normal. Second right. attack, minus three. Dude, I'm sweating, man. This I'm is fucking intent. sweating. Uh, oh, God. Um, th- uh, th- 13 plus 7 is a is a 20. A 20. B- oh, plus the... W- wait. Plus the get him is a 21. Against KAC? 21 against KAC is a hit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, fuck you, Adam. God. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, my God, For dude. real. Oh, my God. You're killing me, bro. You're killing me. Natural motherfucking 20. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
Get confirm. that motherfucker, son! Roll to confirm. Okay, yeah, 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 alright. Um, uh, uh, I'm getting ahead of myself, man. I'm fucking... I'm pumped. Dude, I'm pumped. I know, I know. This okay, is good. This okay, is good. okay, okay, well, let's, okay. Let's get the damage from the first hit first. Okay, alright. Uh, 2d6 plus 8. Okay. Ooh, that's good damage. That's 18 damage. No, that is good damage. Alright, now let's get that critical hit confirmed. Oh my god, dude, I'm... Come on, let me draw this card, dude. Um... I rolled a 17 on the die on that one. So, so remember, this is at a minus 3. So that's uh-huh. going to be 14 plus your bonuses. Plus my bonuses uh, um, is is plus 4. So No, no, I already took 3 off. So oh, okay, it's plus 8. So that's 14 22. plus 8. That's a 22. 22. That is a hit. <laughs> So this is a confirmed critical. Oh my god, yes. John, give me a card, <laughs> bro. Give me a I'm card on the Sardat, dude. <gasps> All right, okay, yeah, this is kinetic. Okay, so first off, extreme, cold. Oh, oh man. Out of here. Okay, so kinetic is hit like a ton of bricks. Bonus effect, target is off target for one round. Dude, that's clutch. Okay, so I can choose between wound or, or off target. Or off target, yeah. Off target, right. it's like a minus two to his attacks. That's pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. Let me uh, let me double check the... Um, no, this, wait, no. The solar weapon does not have wound. I'm tripping, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So it's going to just be that. So he's It's off just going to be off target and double damage. And double damage. Okay. Uh, 8 plus 8 is 16 on the first set. Ooh, and 10 plus 8 is 18 on the second set. That's good damage. That's really good damage. 34 points of damage. Oh, Uh, buddy. I know he's got that DR. Yeah, he's he's got that DR. So it's going to be... He's got basically the same DR that you do. So he's going to negate 15, 5... Oh, no, no. Only 10, because he doesn't ten. have the force field. He doesn't have the force field. So, with the DR, is 24 points of damage. Yes. Okay. All right. And, and he's off target. End, and he's off target. For how long? For a round, right? For a yeah, round. for one round. All right. At the end of my round, I do get the fast healing 2 on my force field, which is going to give me 2 HP back mm-hmm. on my force field. Mm-hmm. Oh, Holy God, cow, what my oh, God, that natural 20, dude. What a oh, my round, God. Dude, what a round. What a hey, round. I, I hate to interrupt, but are we able to see what's happening? Like, are we watching this yeah, fight you guys like, are on watching, a view screen? You're watching from the bridge, not even from a view screen. Like, you're, like, looking down from the bridge of the Epic Tracer down onto this fight. You know, like, I want to describe the actions of my field. turn after they, after they describe their what they, you know kind of what's going on or kind of describe the actions that I do in this round first yeah yeah so because, tell me about this this attack it's a so, beautiful attack so he comes in full attack and, and I mean he hits Orin really hard you know what I mean Orin kind of deflected that first one thought he was doing good and the and the Sardat comes in and and makes those flashing strikes and takes him off guard and so what Orin is going to do is just kind of brute force his way through the Sardat's guard with overhead strikes just kind of slam one time and then slam again and just breaks his guard and just gets a clean hit right in the front of him. Oh, my. The old Kylo Ren. The old Kylo Kylo Ren, Ren. my dude. Yep. Okay, Okay, it's his turn. And he is going to... No, he's not. He's going to fight defensively this round. He knows he's not fully with it, so he's going to fight defensively instead. Okay. So this number that comes up, you're going to need to minus four. All right, so that will be a 15 to hit. That is a miss. Nice, dude. Oh yeah, so after gosh. Orin comes on those two, those, you know, two overhead strikes, he, the, the Sardat's going to try to come back in and, and slash, and Orin will deflect that with his saber as well. Uh, he is going to take a guarded step back for his movement action. Oh, smart. Smart. Round Can't. three. Orin. All right. Oh, my All God. Right. This is this is the coolest fucking thing ever. So, Orin will 
take a step in and say, where are you going, big guy? And um, give, him a, give him just a, a good old slice, a, a, a horizontal slice around the side, kind of like a come around the yeah, side. and right in the hip. Yeah. Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't think that's going to do it, man. I don't think that's going to do it. Um, I rolled a 12 on the die. A 12 on the die, what's the total? Um, uh, plus seven is nineteen. I don't think that's gonna. And plus one is twenty. I still don't think that's and gonna that's get it. And that's against KAC, right? KAC. Yeah, that's not gonna get it. As he's Ugh. like fighting defensively, just like, and just like hits it. You feel the crackling as your two solar motes uh, hit it. So, man, oh man, man. All right. At the end of Orange's turn, he gets two more back on his fast healing. So that's gonna give me four in my. It's okay. Zolan's turn, and he is no longer off target. You see him just kind of center himself <laughs> in like this green energy that around his solar moat starts to swirl around him and grow outward <laughs> and blows out his supernova. Oh, shit. Tell me about supernova, dude. All right, so Supernova, I need you to roll a reflex save. Okay. I can do that. Uh, I have a plus six to my reflex saves. Come on, you can do it, man. Uh, uh, a 15 plus 21. That makes the save, so you're only going to take half damage from 28 fire damage. Jesus uh, Christ. So you'll take 14 fire damage as he just cackles. <laughs> Okay, and then, you are nothing so, in the ways of the stars, you fool. Oh, nice, nice taunt. I got to figure out my reduction on that though. Because uh, so I get DR, four you're not going to take any the- DR from that because it's fire damage, not kinetic damage. So all that's going to go through your DR. So you're only going to take two off from your force field. Uh, four. Because it, I had two rounds of charging up. Okay, cool. You know, because he missed one turn. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right. So four off, and that gives me how much damage do I take? Uh, you're going to take 14. So four, minus the four. So 10 so total. 10 dam- so yeah. 10 total. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. For, for, for posterity, Oren's got 25 stamina left. And then for his movement action, another guarded step away. Uh, all right. Holy crap, dude. This is so... Intense round four, Orin, you're up. Orin will, for for his action, he will reach into the Sardat's mind and say, "Quit running from me, you coward!" And he will mind thrust him at level two. Oh shit! Yes. <laughs> Give me all mind fuck. Fuck yes. Fuck yes. Okay. Give me that mind thrust, man. All right, so so that's a whiz, it's will a will save. save from the Sarda DC seventeen for okay. half damage. Eleven on the will save. So you, my friend, are gonna take. Make sure I got this right. Four D ten damage from this. Holy shit! Come on, max damage! Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> All right, I. I I don't have no. Oh, there's my other D10. Okay, I was like, "Where's my D10s at, man?" Okay, so eight, okay. five, six, and five. It's not bad. So that's twenty-four points of damage, and that's mental damage. Yes, he failed to save, so he takes all of that. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. And then Orin just steps up right in his face, you know, uh-huh. and 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 just press it, pressing the attack. I mean, the Sardat is is running. I wonder what the crew on the ship thinks about this right now, because they can't. Yeah, let's see. check in. Let's check in with the crew. Yeah. What are, you, y'all are seeing just this ball of light darting around under this purple dome, fighting like tooth and nail against the Sardat. What, what's going on on the bridge of the ship? Um, I'm eking myself. I'm so nervous. No, baby, it'll be fine. It'll, he's got this. Look at him. He's 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 pressing to get the the fucking side hat's running from him. <laughs> I love fell soothing the weird squid person. Uh, she's not a of squid course. this time. I mean, well, this one's not a squid. she got squiggly appendages. She's not you have a type, but not okay. squiggly. 
Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry. We're, we're... <laughs> all right, at the end of Orin's turn, he regains two. I got to keep, you know, I got to remind you. He regains two on his force field. So Right, right. Back to two. What are the um, rest of you thinking on the bridge? What did yeah, he get I'm... in star form? <laughs> <laughs> we saw it a couple of times, you know, in battle, but this is seems like a bigger there version. Um, Ziva is confident that he is going to pull this off, and as such, she's doing a scan on the other ship just to make sure that they're not planning anything funky. Nice. Um, they are hovering in... I will tell you, you can f- feel the energy of Orin inside you. I was looking for a better way to phrase that, but... <laughs> in, um, inside you. In but, the- but, <laughs> I, but, like, you can f- almost feel him as he moves, or as he exhilarates. It's like you have this sensation like a, as, a, as if something happened during that mm-hmm. mind meld to where you have like a piece of his energy a part of you now. Um, and you can certainly sense that your get him is active. Now, I will say, if you do scan the ship... You're breaking concentration on that get him. So, oh, well, then no. I yeah, won't yeah, do yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ariel uh, will scan that ship. Oh, uh, yeah, she'll say, Zeno, scan it. Oh. What I'm saying is, like, you're, like, fully. <laughs> you shut your fucking god. <laughs> 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 what I say is, you're, like, mind linked to him. Super to where focused. You're, yeah, hyper yeah, focused. Yeah. yeah, got you. Uh, she's just watching. Okay. I mean, Mike never. Mike's always in the fight. He never gets to like watch fights. You know, it's right. like the plight, plight of a boxer. It's like you, the only fights you ever get to watch are your competitors' fights, um, like p- their prior fights. So like, um, you can only imagine like how Mike would be as a spectator. Like right. when it when when he's landing hits, like when uh, Aaron is landing hits, he's you know he's like a sports fan. He's jumping up and down and fist pumping through the air and stuff but when he's getting hit it, you know it's like you're about to lose in overtime he's like gets real quiet and like wrings his hands and you know i mean it's, it's a white knuckle on the bridge a little bit okay round four Orin. what you got no, Orin just went it's, it's the sardas turn actually shh, shh. no it's totally Orin's turn Oh, right. I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to be fair about this okay yeah, yeah, i'm trying to be right. fair about this all right so the sarda is going to full attack as he begins to reattune to the photon uh, energy. First attack is a 22 against KAC. That's actually a 23, isn't it? Oh, correct. Correct. Yes, it's a 23. 23 against KAC is going to hit. Okay. So that is going to hit you for 24. Well, he's got to roll a miss chance first. Oh, right, right, right. With a mischance, I roll a 81. Oh, so, that, so that hits, hits for man. 24 slashing wow. damage. How are you looking? Oh. Uh, okay, let's check my sheet. That puts Orin to one stamina point. Okay, so you're good. You're still in your stamina. All right. Uh, did you take the DR? Uh, so, I did not take the DR, so actually. I or, actually, I add seven back. Okay, the second attack is a critical fail. Oh boy. Roll to confirm. Roll oh, come to on. confirm. Please, dear gaming gods, confirm. Dude, confirm that miss. So we're using the first attack. That is going to be a 16. That is yes. going to confirm the critical yes. for me. Oh, yes. No. Oh, fuck. I mean, fuck you guys couldn't the get face. the... Du- yeah, like, Ibra is literally with you guys here. I'm putting this on oh, the table. Man, uh, I'm Orin not fudging any of this either. You know, this is for real. Let's get that fumble. <laughs> oh, it's drawn. It's drawn. Okay. <laughs> so, that was a kinetic, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. Well, okay. Uh, extreme first. Grenade. Yeah. What? Yeah. Random. Right. They all uh, So, kinetic is overcompensate. Oh, that's great. Okay. All targets with cover gain additional plus two bonus to AC against attacks you made for 1d4 rounds. Do you have and I cover? do have this cover because count? of Starlight oh, Form. Oh, really? yep. You do? Yeah. Yep. Oh, my God. Is that yep. considered cover? It's concealment, which provides... No. So that's different. Oh. Those are different triggers. So the... The fumble is nothing but a miss. I'm sorry, but that that doesn't that doesn't trigger. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, it's all right, though. He missed, which is I'm sorry, the most man. important thing. Yeah, and he has to now roll a fortitude save. Right, because DC he's 18 right or get blinded. Okay, here we go. Fortitude save. That is a 14. <gasps> get blinded, son! How long okay. is he blinded for? Uh, a while, man. A while. A while. Uh, let me tell you. Uh, a number of minutes per... No, 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 no. One round. It's one round. One round. One round he's blinded. Okay. Yeah. Still, that is huge. That's a significant debuff, and it is now round five. Orin, you're up. You've got him. Your your light surges. <laughs> you're feeling Ziva's energy. You're feeling Ibra's energy. You're feeling your own energy as you're channeling into this moat with everything you got. What do you do? So Oren sees that his light is blinding the Sardat, and he's going to use this opportunity to press the attack and will full attack with an inspiration, with my scratch inspiration. Okay. There's no better time to use these things, folks. 16 on that first one, bruh. 16 on the die, uh, plus 7, 23 yes. against KAC. That is a hit. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and get damage on it. Let's just go ahead and, and roll that. Ooh, uh, that's a six and a four plus eight. It's 18 damage on the first hit. Okay. Minus his DR. Okay. And then a 17 on the second die. So that's a plus five. 17 plus five is a 22 KAC. 22 KAC is a. Hit. Remember, he's got some. He's got some serious I know, negatives. I'm good. I'm yeah. Good. I'm okay. Good. Yeah. 22 hits. All right. Let's roll some more damage. Okay. Uh, that's eight plus eight is sixteen more damage. Oh my gosh! All right. So you know, Orin comes in with like a cross slash on the Sardat, and and he's gonna look him. You know, well he he can't see me. He's blinded. So Oren will just say to him telepathically, Her name was Sedona, and I'm going to kill you in her name. Oh, my God. All right. So he's going to... And at the end of my round, I gain two more of my shield back. I got to say that. All right. So (laughs) he is going to fight defensively as he is blinded. Single attack. Okay, I think that's going to hit even with the minus four, so that's a 29 to hit. Yeah, now i got to yeah. roll a 50% mischance because I'm blinded. Yes, because you're blinded, 50% mischance. So 51 or better, I hit. Mm-hmm. 39. Miss. Miss. Hell yeah. It's going and... to take a five-step foot back. Okay, okay. Fair. Okay, that's fair. All right, so top of the round, you guys had mentioned doing the scan on the ship, and you see—I mean, you can just look and see that it's not moving as you run the scan. There is no activity. I mean, it seems as if they're holding up their end of the bargain. Um, Orin, Orin, it's—he's going to keep moving up. Quit running, coward! He says and just moves in another step. Swings the saber okay. with all of my bonuses. 14 plus 8 is... 22. Oh no, I'm so nervous, I can't add. 22, okay, see, that hits, right? That hits. Get some! Get some! You can't add because Emily's energy is filling your mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there it is. There it is. So damage is not Sorry. that great. It's a 4 and a 2 on the die. So that's 6 plus 8 is... 14 damage. 14 damage minus the DR. Minus the DR. Okay. And I gain another two to my shield at the end of my turn. So that puts me back to four at the shield. Okay. So Orin's shield's just regenerating. He's pressing the attack. He's just swinging on him. The, the Sardat is just... He's running. He yeah. seems scared, he man. Is, uh, yeah, you can read that pretty well. And it's his turn. There's also three more rounds in. He is fully attuned. I need you to roll another reflex save. Did you just take another step back? Yeah, I took a five foot step back. Guard step back. Okay. And then I'm going to launch my supernova 
Okay, reflex, huh? Got a plus six. And that's going to be an 18. All right, so you do make the save. Okay. So you're going to take 14 points of fire damage. Minus minus, minus four. So 10 right. points of fire damage. Okay, so that's all of Orin's stamina. And two of his HP. Okay. So I now have 44 HP left. Okay. Orin, right. you're up. Orin moves in. And he's gonna and he's gonna telepathically say, I told you to stop running. Fight me like a man and mind thrust him again, level two. Okay. 4d10 damage. Okay. Coming at you. It's a DC seven DC seventeen. Wisdom. Will save. Will save. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Ten. Oh he's taking all of that. Yep. Three sevens and a ten. <laughs> Three sevens Ooh. and a ten, oh, my yes. man. Thirty one points of damage. Thirty one points of mental all right. psychic damage. All of that mind fuck like no, a sh- big boy. Sh- everybody shush. Zach? What does Orin send with this mind thrust? That is the last images and words that Sarda Zolanilovester hears before his brain is turned into mush and leaks out his ears. He sends an image of Sedona looking right at him and putting her pistol in his face and firing a shot right between his eyes at point blank range. And he just has a look of confusion on his face before it goes slack and he falls down on his knees as his brain just turns into soup. And then he falls face forward right at your feet and his moat goes dark. You have killed Sardat Zolar Mulevestro one-on-one. That is the end of book three and you all level up to level seven. Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. Yeah, we'll see you, Sardat. Or yeah, Orin looks right at his corpse and says, "We'll fucking see you, asshole." Oh, fucking amazing! <laughs> oh, oh my god. god, amazing! I am sweating so hard. <laughs> I, I'm like a sweaty mess right now. Holy shit! Oh, man. Congratulations, Zach. Man, like good. Yeah, fuck dude. Oh, you just soloed fu- the, the end boss. Yeah, why didn't we even come Jedi on this mission? Master. We could have just yeah. sent you. Yeah. <laughs> God damn. Oh, God. oh man. Oof. I'm on cloud nine, folks. Woo. Okay. Okay. All right. This episode has been sponsored by Roll20. This is how we roll. <laughs>